Yikes, you be like, hey yo, what's the price? Yikes, when it come to me, I do nothing twice. Yikes, two, two, three, got you take your This comes as the search continues for this man. He was just named as a suspect accused of a man who was found bound, gagged, and murdered in 2009. Tonight, Mallory Vaughn is a wanted man facing murder and robbery charges for the death of 68-year-old Franklin Bonner back in 2009. Linda Bonner came home from work to find her husband Franklin bound with duct tape and suffocated to death. Linda was relieved to hear someone is finally being charged for her husband's death. Because you're going to get what you deserve. You took away a good man. You hurt a lot of people. You destroyed my life. It was January 16, 2009, when Linda Bonner returned home from work to find her husband Franklin on the kitchen floor, bound with duct tape and suffocated to death. A medical examiner determined that the duct tape wrapped around Franklin's mouth and nose led to his death. Now Franklin, who was a retired Chattanooga Public Works employee, was known to run numbers and sold marijuana in the neighborhood. So Franklin was known to have a large amount of cash in the home. 911, where is your emergency? Oh, please, I've been wrong. Who has him? Help! Are you okay, ma'am? I come home, my husband's out of him. He's not breathing. Help me! He's tied up. Yes. I cut that duct tape off his face, but he's not breathing. Okay. He's breathing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, ma'am. Investigators found very little evidence at the scene. And so the case went unsolved for about a decade before Bonner's family reached out to the DA's cold case unit, prompting a review of the case. They submitted unidentified latent fingerprints to the TBI, resulting in a match for two fingerprints found on the duct tape at the scene. The fingerprints came back to match 26-year-old Mallory Vaughn. However, they say that Mallory didn't act alone. Investigators seem to believe that he had a 13-year-old female accomplice. Angel Pumpus. Thanks for being here. I uh, wanted to announce that yesterday the uh, Hamilton County Grand Jury indicted uh, Mallory Vaughn, uh, black male, uh, date of birth 220 of 82, in the uh, felony and especially aggravated robbery of Franklin Bonner. Mr. Bonner was uh, uh, found in his home uh, by his wife. He'd been robbed in murder, uh, a case from January of 2009. Uh, in addition to Mr. Vaughn, there is a uh, Another individual that at the time of the uh, homicide was in a juvenile who has uh, been placed into custody. We cannot disclose her name since at the time she was a juvenile. Uh, but as you'll note behind me, uh, the sheriff, uh, Captain McCull, on behalf of the Chattanooga Police Department and the cold case unit all worked together and recently made uh, very uh, vast developments on trying to solve this particular case. It's been almost nine and a half years. Uh, and to my left, we, uh, uh, you'll see members of Mr. Bonner's family, his wife Linda holding the picture, uh, his son and daughter Stephanie and Preston, and his granddaughter Sierra, who, uh, Sierra, we, we have some 200 unsolved homicides in this county. She called this year on the anniversary date of her uh, grandfather's murder, and so we started looking back into that, and there was some uh, new develop developments that were made, and uh, fortunately for, for him, Justice, and, and, and the Bonner family have been able to, the Hamilton County Grand Jury returned yesterday a, an indictment for felony murder, especially aggravated. Uh, I know we sent out a, a press release as well. Uh, Mr. Vaughn is wanted out of Hamilton County General Sessions Court on unresolved, unrelated charges, but he has uh, two warrants out of Sessions Court, so with the indictment and the two warrants, he's obviously wanted and hopefully the community will assist uh, law enforcement in locating him. Uh, the Sheriff's Department and the Chattanooga Police Department have been uh, trying to track him for the last couple of weeks and have been unsuccessful. So if there's anyone out there in the community that knows his whereabouts, if they can contact law enforcement, it would be, uh, it would be very helpful. The family is telling me the suspect, Mallory Vaughn, is innocent and that he's being framed. However, the DA's office says it was Vaughn's fingerprints that led to those charges. Vaughn's family didn't want to talk on camera, but they reached out to tell us they believe he's being framed. They say his fingerprints were checked back in 2009 and he was cleared. When I asked about this, investigators said they couldn't comment on the open case. The DA's office says unidentified fingerprints were sent to the TBI this year. They were identified as Vaughn's and I asked Vaughn's family if he plans to turn himself in so far they haven't responded of course we'll keep you updated
Now in 2019, Angel, who was 27 at the time, was tied to Bonner's death and tried alongside a co-defendant who was 40 at the time, Mallory Vaughn. The jury will later find Angel guilty of first-degree felony murder and attempt to commit especially aggravated rape. While Mallory, her 40-year-old co-defendant, was found not guilty on the same charges. Angel was later sentenced to life in prison. I mean, I read some reports that said 60 years, but to me, hey, it's the same difference. Now, Angel's attorney filed a motion for a new trial on July 14th, 2022, citing that, among other things, unfair prejudice caused by unnecessary testimony and notes submitted into evidence by the state written by a detective who was under investigation for misconduct in a separate case. So Chief Flood Pletcher says that one detective is charged with drunk driving and another accused of misconduct. Fletcher wouldn't get into any specific details about actions Detective Carl Fields allegedly did to prompt criminal scrutiny. But Fletcher says Fields has a history of being disciplined. And the chief says he hopes for a timely outcome. District Attorney Neil Pinkston and I received a thorough briefing from his staff and from my staff. Chattanooga I, Police Chief Fred Fletcher agree. has two allegations of bad behavior on his hands. He says he learned major crimes detective Carl Fields allegedly broke the rules last week in his role as an officer. I will confirm that the allegations involve inappropriate contact with a victim of a crime he was investigating. Now he's off duty and on administrative leave. Other officers are taking over Fields' cases. Spoke with his chain of command and we will be performing some due diligence on those cases to make sure that there are no, um, that part of the investigation internally is that there are no patterns or practices. Angel was then granted a new trial by a judge and released from jail in September 2022. Now fast forward to 2023, a Hamilton County judge, Amanda Dunn, dismissed the case against Angel. Kelly, thank you. Well, investigators say the victim was a known bookie and marijuana dealer. A woman is also facing charges in connection with this cold case. She was arrested, but her name has not been released because she was 13 years old. In 2019, Angel Bumpus was found guilty of 68-year-old Franklin Bonner. That was in 2009. Bumpus was just 13 years old. Bonner's family reopened the trial almost a decade later, and investigators found fingerprints from the scene that matched Bumpus's prints. Her co-defendant, Mallory Vaughn, was found not guilty. Now, although Bumpus was convicted, her attorney's motion for a new trial, which was granted last year. Today, the case was dismissed. News Channel 9's Sam Pena spoke with her after today's decision in the courtroom. and explains why the charges were dismissed and what's next for Bumpus. From age 13 to motherhood, and now today, Angel Bumpus maintained her innocence for years. Now her battle for freedom is over. Everything was very stressful. Her attorneys filed this motion for a new trial, arguing that the evidence was insufficient and flawed. They're going to try their absolute best to fix <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Angel Bumpus was convicted of 68-year-old Franklin Bunner in 2009 when she was just 13 years old. Her conviction was thrown out because of errors during trial and a new trial date was granted in September of 2022. On Tuesday, during a status hearing, Hamilton County District Attorney General Cody Wump dismissed the case. The state is equally certain that Angel Bumpus did not commit this crime by herself. The nature of the offense the way that Mr. Bonner was duct taped and killed, the ransacking of the home. It is my opinion that we must refocus our efforts on identifying the individual who did this. It is not the state's role to seek convictions. It is the state's role to seek truth. Bumpus's attorney, William Massey, presented Wump with a polygraph test that Bumpus passed. Since the test wasn't completed by law enforcement, she asked Massey to have Bumpus do another one with the one. And so we went to someone with a law enforcement background who has an excellent resume, outstanding officer, um, and she took the polygraph with him, and it was convincing enough with just the fingerprints is the only evidence against her to convince the general to dismiss this case. The motion was granted, but before a new trial could happen, new DA Cody Wump agreed with Angel's argument. Conviction does not always equal justice. And Angel's definitely a woman of her word because she got up out of Tennessee. Angel's now living with her two daughters out in Kentucky trying to rebuild her life, and I'm happy for her. But how does something like this happen is what I'm confused about. 
her co-defendant, who was 26 at the time, was found not guilty on the same charges. There was no mention of the cases being severed, so they were tried together. So if the co-defendant is found not guilty, I mean, by default, wouldn't you think that she would be found not guilty? And I mean, to add insult to injury, I mean, if you go back, the state's attorney, the DA, she spoke as though she still don't believe that Angel's innocent. She said that Angel did not commit this crime by herself alone. But I don't know, man. I want to know what y'all think about this case. Let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, man, please take the time to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. In the years since her arrest, Angel Bumpus has been rebuilding. I'm just trying to get back to my normal life. A normal life seemingly impossible after a 2019 first degree murder conviction. It's kind of hard building your life out once you get out of prison. Two partial prints on duct tape used to suffocate 60-year-old Franklin Bonner matched Angel, who was only 13 at the time. She would not accept anything, any type of place saying she did something. As she told me, I'm not going to say I did something I didn't do. In 2018, then 24 and a mother of two, Angel was arrested. Bumpus says now that she's free of all charges, her plan is to finish school and move back to Kentucky. She's excited to move on from the past. It does feel like a relief for me, but um, still have to do the process of getting my record clean and doing all that. Like, it's kind of hard building your life out once you get out of prison, but that's what I'm working on. And now that I don't have to worry about this case anymore, it'll be a little bit easier. Massey says getting her record clean is already in the works. We will prepare and um, or, um, orders of expungement and we will send them down for entry and that will clear her record and clean her record of any um, evidence of this case ever occurring. I am going to finish school and move back to Kentucky where I was living. Yikes, you'll be like, hey yo, what's the price? Yikes, when it come to me, I do nothing twice. Yikes, two, two, three, got you taking.